Ali Mogisin, Hafidei Zantiro, Rananim, Kasseleli, Lengwo, and Yakwe. Welcome back to the One Mike Nisha Show. We're back, so let's kick off the show. And we start with the one on one. And for this one, we sit down with the first ever Yapis elected female senator. Check it out. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your podcast. Um, the. Um uh, when you first contacted me, um, of course, I was very excited. I wanted to also welcome you back home. Thank you. <laughs> so it's very good to see you after so many years. And uh, of course, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very happy that I can, I can uh, help you with this because I think a lot of people, with, uh, it would be helpful for, for them to know what's happening back home also. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess when, we, when I first start with, with the podcast or with the one-on-one -on -one interviews, we try to get to know um, you as as Lamar before you know as senator. So tell us more about you. Like, let's say let's start with the education side. You know, let the people know how you know how it all started for you, where you went to school, how with work until now. Okay, okay. Um, I was born and raised here, here in Yap. Um, basically, I uh, went to school here and then went on to Saver High School in Chuuk. Finished, graduated from there, and then went on to university. Went on to the U.S. for university. Uh, completed that, and then came back. Um, I felt that uh, my heart was uh, home, so I, um, I I wanted to to do my part and contribute. And as soon as I came back, you know, I, I started working. Um, so I've been mostly in the private sector for many years. The, the latest one uh, was, um, the longest one was uh, at uh, Community IU Services Credit Union, which is the YAP's very own credit union. We were, we were uh, one of the first few people that, uh, that helped uh, manage it. And I was there for 10 years. And then um, I resigned because at the same time, my husband and I also had a family business in construction on the side. And um, I felt that that I needed to 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 make a choice between the two, um, and basically I needed to focus with uh, on the family business and the family, really. So so that's when I resigned after working there for ten years. Um, but uh, the credit union, I'm happy to say, is still going very mm -hmm. strong, doing very well. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to 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 be a part of that. And then I started, that's when we, we, um, we uh, um, that's when I started working at the family business, which was in construction and retail. Mm -hmm. That was in, my son is 16 now, <laughs> so it's been about 15 years. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then, um, and then, then I did not imagine or thought at any point in time that I would go into politics. Mm -hmm. um, it, wasn't in, it wasn't in my plans, it wasn't a dream of mine, but I think it was the fact that, um, that you know, th my, my love for my home, mm -hmm. my love for my people, and uh, uh, seeing what was happening on the island mm -hmm. and uh, seeing all the um, what was taking place, especially with all of our people migrating outside, leaving the, the island, and um, compared to the ones returning, which is very minimal to almost non-existent. And, and the state of our government, you know, I've, I've, I, I really believe that, that our government and our state can do better. There's always room for improvement. Always. Not that I felt that I could do better, mm -hmm. no, but I felt I could contribute. I really felt I could contribute. Especially when I went, you know, talked to, I saw people out first. I didn't just jump into this and say, you know, I'm going to do this. There were people that I felt who were much more qualified, you know, mm -hmm. better qualified than, than I was. And so, you know, I, we, we, we saw those people out. We wanted them to, to, to take the, the chance to, to make a difference, but unfortunately because of personal reasons or family obligations and stuff like that, or work uh, obligation, there was really, there was, um, there was really, the, the choices were very limited. It was very limited. 
And so it was a decision that my husband and I had to really sit down and, and, uh, and um, think about seriously and had a very long, mm -hmm. uh, serious talk that I could say sp that spanned probably many, many weeks, probably months, as to is this what we really want to do? Or, you know, is this, um, it's going to require a lot of sacrifice, not only for, the, for us personally, but for the family and the business and stuff like that. But um, and we we did a lot of praying about it also, and um, and in the end I was like okay, okay I I guess I, I kind of um, gave I I kind of gave in I wanted to try, mm -hmm. but at the same time I was I I didn't know how the people would react to 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 another woman running, mm -hmm. but. Um, because I know, that, you know, it's it's never it's having a female senator is, has this is the first time, mm -hmm. but there were people there were women mm -hmm. in the past that have yes. run, yeah. So so I, I I knew that was possible, and um, and so we, we decided de decided to, to to do it, and um, not really expecting the outcome to turn out like it did, but. Uh, but cream watch more that's how it, it came out and i was like okay if if uh if this is what the 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 people want me to do then you know i'm 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 for it i'm for <coughs> it one thing i do know is that i do know my heart is in the right place mm -hmm. not that and and i believe that you know with um that's what we need we need people who 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 um who want to make a difference, mm -hmm. who love their island, who love the, their people, and who, know, who are willing to, to make a, the, the sacrifices to do something better for, for their island. So. When, when you were on the campaign trail, mm. um, tell us more about the things that you talked about that you saw needed to okay. be the issues. Maybe one or two. I mean, there's, mm. there's probably a whole list, a whole binder Yes, somewhere. <laughs> yes. Too much to remember. There's a lot. But uh, one thing that that um, that um, I, I really wanted to to look at is the, the migration of our people outside the state because there's such a huge gap in our in our uh, skill set. There's we don't have a large talent pool. It's either the they're either ready to retire or they're still in high school. But from that age, from from uh, college age all the way up to their early twenties, you know, the time where they're the age where people are are ready to to contribute back into their society, into their communities. Instead of doing that, they're going off island and looking for better opportunities. Which is, I don't blame them. I believe our leadership is at fault to an extent. We need to give our people an incentive to stay behind, and um, especially in light of what's going on with uh, with the global economy, mm -hmm. with inflation going mm -hmm. up, or you know, all over the world. I think when you know, it's affecting us here. The prices of of our of our of everything in the stores has gone up. The prices of fuel has gone mm -hmm. up. It's always been very expensive, but it's even more so now than before. People are struggling to pay for their loans, you know, struggling to, to afford food for their families. So it's something that I really wanted to, to, to look into when I come into office, is to, to try to raise the, the minimum wage and at the same time um, give an incentive either through, you know, raise the, the salaries for for the positions that we need people for, you know, all the technical positions like nurses and doctors and engineers and teachers and all those those uh, those uh, professions, we need to look at those, have those um, salaries looked at and reviewed because we're way below the the, the the market standard. And I'm not saying we have the money to meet the market standard, but at least make it more more attractive for our people to want to have to come back home. Is it um, doable? Well, that's the question. I believe so. I really think so. I think it's, you know, it, it has, we have to look at it from all the different angles. Mm -hmm. there's, uh, there's always, you know, everything boils down to money. Mm -hmm. You know, do we have the money or not? 
But I believe, you know, th there are other resources that we can look at and tap into. And those are the things, you know, we have to get creative. We have to think outside of the box. What can we do with the little that we have to make our people want to come back? Or at least make the ones, the, the, the few who are still back here to want to make something of them uh, of you know of their life and do something that they that can really contribute to to their communities and to 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 our island i believe we can come up with a solution i'm not going to say we're going to solve the problem mm -hmm. immediately you know but at least we can start chipping away at it you know and hopefully i'm not this i'm not looking for this to benefit me mm -hmm. you know it's, that's going to happen in my lifetime but at least to start chipping away at it where where the the next generation and the next generation after that you know can actually see the benefits of what we've done mm -hmm. at our time at this time mm -hmm. this moment you know what message would do you have for our younger generations you know i say dream dream big um always put god first you know and and you know and if you love your 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 island you know then you know you already have the right tools that you can you know push yourself and make something out of yourself to to be a contributing member to your community it is. nothing nothing will stop you Wow, what an amazing and inspiring talk I had with Senator Anne-Marie Lamar. Kamrad, thank you so much. Guys, we're going to take a break, but when we come back, I boom, what is it? We'll find out.